In this video, I'll show you how to dual mine Verge coin and how much money you can make mining it. Let's begin. Hey, what is up, YouTube? I am Leo with Mining Sumo, and uh, let's talk about dual mining Verge coin and how much money you can make doing it. So, first of all, let's look at the coin market cap, and we can see that Verge coin costs about eight cents right now per coin, eight point two cents. And uh, so to mine it, usually you do it with an AMD GPU using Claymore Dual Miner. Now there are different ways of doing it, but that's the way I do it because all of my AMD rigs, they're mining Ethereum or Ethereum Classic and at the same time I dual mine. So here is my, uh, here's how much I'm making. In the last 24 hours, I've earned... 94.4 verge coins and i'm mining it on six rigs dual mining it so my hash rate is about 20 giga hashes um so right now it shows only three rigs mining it for some reason you can see this went down but sometimes it just disconnects i don't know why maybe the pool goes down or something like that however uh, you can see this line, I'm just about 20 giga hashes. And uh, so what that means is each one of my rigs is pulling about 3500 mega hashes, uh, dual mining it. So let's talk about uh, profitability. I made this calculator. So, like I said, with six rigs, I'm making about 94.4 coins per day. And my power draw... Uh, additional power draw with dual mining is about 110 watts per rig or 660 watts for all six rigs. So my electric cost is 20 cents per kilowatt hour. However, average in US is 13 cents and that's what we base our numbers on. So for six rigs, a daily cost of electricity is about $2.06 and for one rig it's 34 cents per day. Now, at current price of $0.08, eight cents, we would be making about $0.95 cents per day per rig. Or 6 rigs would be making $5.68. Now, for 30 days, you would be making about $170 with 6 rigs or $28.40 with just one rig. So one rig is basically six AMD GPUs. I use mostly RX 570s. And they're mining Ethereum. Now I'll show you also my uh, Claymore bat file. Uh, and the way I do it is I try to maximize Ethereum hash rate. So I try not to cannibalize that. And at the same time, I try to maximize XVG or Verge coin mining speed. All right, so um, just quickly to show you these are actually my stats right here because my electricity is a little bit more expensive than national average i would say actually a lot it's 20 cents per kilowatt hour so my daily electric cost for six rigs is three dollars and 17 cents or 53 cents per rig my daily income for six rigs is four dollars and 57 cents and my monthly income is 137 dollars and that is after electricity is paid now before electricity is paid for example if you somehow manage to get free electricity with one rig you would be making a dollar 29 per day and with six rigs seven dollars 74 cents per day and then for a month you would be making about 232 dollars with six rigs and 38 39 dollars with just one rig all right, so let's, uh, and we can confirm these numbers on what to mine. So let's go here and let's do one rig calculation. So let's say it's 3,500 mega hashes and 110 watts of power. So 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Let's calculate. All right, and uh, here we see per day we would be making $1.18 after electricity and dollar 53 before electricity and let's confirm it here so yeah 95 cents after electricity costs and uh, this here 
Well, actually, what to mine shows a little bit better, a little bit more money per day, but you know, realistically, I think uh, this is what you're going to make. I don't think you're going to make this much. Although let's let's try it. So since I have 21 giga hashes or 2100 mega hash, 2.1 giga hash. So let's do that. No, actually. 21 giga hash and uh, my power draw is 660 watts that's what i based the calculation so let's leave it at 13 cents for the national average so here it shows for the months you would be making 33 uh, 3336 coins now i estimated more to be around 3000 coins and uh, what to mine shows you that you're going to be making $215 after electricity. And uh, my calculator shows 170 I think my calculator is a little more realistic because I base it on real numbers that I get. I've been mining it for about a week. And uh, that's the numbers that I get. Now, again, let's switch back here and uh, update the electricity costs to $0.20 cents per kilowatt hour. And we get $181 per month. I get $153. So this is a little bit, a little bit more optimistic, I think. But, uh, you know, you would be making between $130 to $180 with six rigs mining uh, verge for you. So now let's look at the bad file, how to mine. So... You gotta use Claymore 11 or newer. Uh, Claymore 10.x doesn't mine Verge. So what you do is you put your uh, Ethereum mining pool address here and then semicolon and port number. Now I use nano pool. So and this is this is the setting for Ethereum Classic, but just go to nano pool and get the right uh server address for you in the port then what you do is you put your ethereum address rig name and then email so that's for ethereum and then for verge coin you gotta do minus d pool so that says you know the second coin then the address is you gotta put stratum plus tcp colon forward slash forward slash i use and mine pool so this is the address and port number. Then you do D wall minus D wall, and that's your address. So your uh, your verge address. And then I put rig name, although and pool for some reason doesn't show uh, rig name. However, Unipool does show it, and I'll talk about Unipool a little bit later. So then password D coin. Then you specify the algorithm Blake two S. And so to maximize my Ethereum mining, I actually do DCRI 22. So that basically doesn't affect my Ethereum mining speed or it affects it very little. So for example, if I have a rig at 170 mega hashes on Ethereum with DCRI 22, I drop maybe two, three, four mega hashes on Ethereum and I get about 35 to 3700 mega hashes on Ethereum. A verge coin let me show you i'll show you that in a second but uh so these are the d pool settings in case you disconnect disconnect from your server so pool one i left at end mine pool and then the second pool failover i did for uni mining i'm in us so you would do us uh that uni mining that net so this is your dpool and dpool.txt is basically a failover. If you get disconnected from the server or something happens to it, it tries this to other or uh, how I'm, however many servers you specify here. They are actually two different files. I'm going to put this configuration in the description for the actual bad file. And uh, I'll also do dpool. I'm not sure if I can use, use forward slash. No, actually I can... I think I can use forward slash in the description for the video. All right, so let me show you the 
the actual miner. All right, so here is my miner. I am connected with Team Viewer. Let me just show you, uh, make it bigger fonts. All right, so you can see my mega hash rate with the DCRI 22 setting is uh, 170 mega hashes per second. And without it, it's uh, like 172 for six uh, RX 570, 580s. I'm not even sure. So let me show you what GPUs I have. So I have four RX 580s and two RX 570s in this rig. And my, um, my average speed is 3750 mega hashes per second. And you can see I have very few rejected shares, just 11 out of 2080. And uh, my Ethereum is also pretty good, zero rejected and uh, zero incorrect shares. Now you see it goes on to failover for some reason. Um, and pool it goes in and out all the time. So, you know, Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. Yeah, right now it only sees three of my miners for some reason, but then the, the <laughs> hash rate is still 17. So, like, it's weird how it works. So here is actually what I mine. Um, every 10 to 20 minutes I get 0 0.6 to 0.8 verge coin. And then after some time it gets verified and deposited into my wallet. Now for the wallet I use Coinami uh, wallet on my Android phone. And, uh, and that's about it. So let's, um, the price just went up a little bit. <laughs> let's just quickly recalculate your, uh, your hash rate. Or not hash rate but income. So just paste it in there. And uh, so our production went up a little bit. However, um, so realistically, with six rigs, you, go, you will be getting about 100 coins per day. That's what I get. I don't think you can make more. Because in reality, the hash rate of the network went up in the last few days tremendously. Like, I'll show you back to ant pool, ant mine pool. So this is the hash rate on the pool right now it was about 15 tera hashes just a few days ago <laughs> and right now it's 45 so it tripled on this pool alone yeah and as you can see now like it shows that in the last 24 hours i made 84 coins but that's like you know uh you gotta look at it not just in a 24 hour period but actually in a longer period because like this will mature very soon this will get paid out and there's about five coins in here so that will get it get added up it's gonna be 90 so on i and i think like once my other miners go back online everything is gonna stabilize but yeah realistically you will be making about 15 17 uh coins per day with one rig all right guys so this is how you mine Vergecoin, dual mine Vergecoin with Claymore 11. And uh, again, I'll just quickly show you the bat file. So you do stratum plus TCP, your mining pool. I like the end mining pool better than uni mining. For some reason, it just make, gives me more money. But in the last couple of days, it all went down because the network hash rate increased tremendously. I don't know what happened all the crazy people jumped on board and uh so here's the difficulty reported by what to mine and that hash i'm not even sure how accurate this is but whatever you can expect to make about 100 verge coins with six rigs mining it and uh again i think it's very important not to sacrifice your ethereum mining so what I some people on Reddit they say they use uh, DCRI 46, but I think it basically cannibalizes your Ethereum mining tremendously. My hash rate on Ethereum would drop to about 130 mega hashes from 170 if I used 42 or 46 DCRI setting.
So I just stick with 22. It works best for me. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Again, I am Leo with Mining Sumo. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section below. I'll answer all your questions, uh, the legit ones. And uh, please let me know what you think about this video, if I should make more of this. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Click that subscribe button, hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.